For those of you who do not know, um, I do have limited usable vision. And there are several ways to magnify your screen if you are in my boat and have varying vision needs. The first is full screen magnification, which looks like this. Which is not too bad, except you notice how little you can see the screen. And what I mean by that is um, how, how little screen area you actually have to work with. Now this isn't so bad if you're like me and you go to several websites on a daily basis. But if you go to a website that's suddenly been redesigned, then you've got a problem. Okay? So what if you wanted to get a full, what if you wanted to get um, just a portion of the screen magnified? You can do that with picture in picture on the Mac. Lens view in Windows. This is all from the built-in software. Part of the problem on the Mac side, though, is you have to be able to adjust your cursor size, and those are two completely different settings. Part of the problem is, besides having the tiny square to move around, sometimes, because what you're looking at here is you're looking at full screen, and then this portion of the screen that's magnified. So you notice how that there's a much um, bigger difference in the size of the menu bar in the magnified view versus the regular view. Now for a short while for me this isn't too bad, but after a while um, it can become bothersome. So what I like to do is I like to switch it back to full screen. The only problem is now you have to switch your cursor size back to normal. Now there is a dedicated piece of software called Zoom Text that will take care of both of these for you on the fly. The only thing is right now I don't have it. Um, and I'm actually looking at possibly getting a copy for the Mac. But I've also been pondering something else. Um, for those of you who do not know, I am currently looking for work and am looking into getting some technology that will help me as an employee with a visual impairment in the workplace. My particular job is going to require me to present various materials to groups. Now, in a typical setting, this would require a secondary monitor. However, for those of you who are fully sighted, you can see me moving around right now. You notice the speed at which I move around. For me, this is perfectly normal. And for you, well, all I can say is I, am apolo I, can, uh, I can only apologize if you're getting sick. So let's take a look at this again. We just saw lens view and full screen. So here's another example of full screen on Windows using a zoom text for Windows. Split view, which allows magnification on the right and full screen on the left, but then again we have that problem of having two views at once and, and the very possibility of it being disorienting. So I began thinking about how I was going to use the technology in the workplace using a projector as a secondary monitor. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized, because the secondary monitor, I'll zoom in so you can see a little better, this is my view here on the, on the monitor, this would be my class's view here on the, um, on the projector. And I got to thinking about it and realizing, because I do like to shift out um, of the magnification to see the full screen, because I can see what's there, I just can't see the specifics. In other words, I can see that I'm in a tab, but I can't see what the name of the tab is. I can see the location of the URL bar, but I can't see what's in the URL bar. And this is, again, only because I've taken the time to look around the OS X in the zoomed-in view, so when I zoom out, I have a general idea of where things are. 
So it's nice to be able to zoom out and take a look at the full view on a website. But if you're doing this constantly, it can be a bit of a problem. So I was thinking about the class, the, uh, the um, work scenario again, and I realized why not just have two monitors at all times for my personal computing? Magnified view on the left, full view on the right, all I have to do is turn my head. If I had a box surrounding the arrow on this side, then I'd have a much better idea of what's going on on this side. Um, so I could easily glance at websites and figure out where I need to be on this side and take a look and actually go there on this side. It would be a big, big help, personally speaking. The only problem is I'll use Windows if I absolutely have to for work because in the work environment there are very secure, very state-of-the-art firewalls, especially if you're working with confidential information. Leave the workplace, though, and you're left to your own devices. And it's for this reason that I do not trust Windows in my home personal computing. Unfortunately, from what I've seen, OS X Yosemite has serious problems with dual monitor support when you're using the Zoom tool. And Zoom text and I actually discovered this when I was looking for software to use on the Windows side for work. Zoom Text doesn't even support a secondary monitor, so I couldn't even hook the computer up to a projector if I wanted to. But I am curious about what your personal preferences are for magnification, for those of you who do use it, and for those of you who do not, what's your take on the various views? If you personally needed to use a computer, what would you use? Because I'm, I'm very surprised, given the flexibility that two monitors provides you, that it's not in use more often than it is. I mean, it's obviously used in media production, video production, movies, accounting, security. But those are very niche markets. And myself having the needs that I do is a very niche situation. But at the same time, it's been said that technology to help people with disabilities has often crept out into the mainstream world and found a way to help people there, too. So what I'm basically wondering is why dual monitor use isn't more prevalent. What do you guys think about all this? Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice day.